Well, two days after the Vermont primary, the Democratic winners and their opponents gathered on the steps of the State House with a plan for the Republicans. The unity rally is something we see after every primary. Local 22's Libby Faro reports. More than ever, Vermonters need leadership that will provide support, guidance, and direction as we rebuild. David Zuckerman and his strongest opponent, Rebecca Holcomb, had their differences in the race for governor. The While they both favor universal health care, a $15 minimum wage, and a medical leave program for all Vermont workers, they clashed over vaccinations. During the campaign, Holcomb, a former Vermont Education Secretary, criticized Zuckerman for his opposition to legislation to not make vaccinations a requirement to attend public schools. Putting defeat aside, Holcomb congratulated Zuckerman on his victory. Politics and government is about solving problems, keeping people safe, and creating opportunity. That's what Dems are, that's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna do it as a team. So congratulations, David. Race well run, let's get this done. In the race for Lieutenant Governor, Molly Gray battled with former state senator Tim Ash over Vermont's lacking a paid family leave program and universal broadband access. Gray also said Montpelier needs fresh leadership as well. As a first time candidate, I am beyond humbled, beyond humbled by this support. But what I am most proud of is that together we built a campaign that brought new voices into politics, that spoke with Vermonters from every county, even if via Zoom, every generation and background, and that work together to unite our state around a bold vision for a brighter future. Uh, over my time as pro tem, and I think if any of you were there when I was sworn in three and a half years ago, I talked about the importance to me of teams. And my leadership style has always been when things are going well to disperse credit, when things aren't going well to take the heat. Despite all their differences on the main campaign trail, their main focus is now winning the general election. Libby Farrell, Local 22 News, Montpelier.